Hey everybody, De really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Amazing Shinsengumi Heroes in Love. We are starting out with Sonosuke Harada, the first route that I'm going to do on here because I'm reading Hakuoki at the same time and I started out with Sonosuke Harada. I wanted to read this whole story in one night, but the game got released in the evening, so I'm getting a really late start, so I won't be able to do this all in one day. But hopefully I'll have enough videos up that it can help some of you decide if you want to purchase the game or not. I uploaded the prologue shortly after it was released, but um, yeah, that's a little bit difficult to determine if you want to buy the game just from that. So hopefully one route or half of a route will help people a little bit more. Alright, I'm gonna get started here. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Chapter 1 I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Everyone in the alleyway was in a panic as a result of the fire. When Isami confirmed my decision, Wait until things die down. Isami then left. Hey you, did you choose to come to my place? Sanosuke was staring at me from behind and jumped into our conversation. Oh, you were here, Sanosuke? I could have sworn I gave you some orders all the way over there. Isami stopped in his tracks and turned around, surprised. I was going to get back to work, but... I heard there was nothing to do, and I didn't want to just leave. Also, I heard something about you inviting her to the base, and something about a recreation room. I was wondering where she'd chosen to go. In other words, he'd heard everything. I see. Well, you came at the right time. How about it, Sanosuke? She won't have any problems if she stays at your place, right? Don't be silly. Of course it's no problem at all. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Good to hear. Well then, I'll leave it to you. Roger, I'll take care of her. Isami looked relieved and smiled. After he saw him off, Sonosuke looked over at me. There we have it. I'm looking forward to having you stay at my place, Chizuru. Yeah, me too. I'm in your hands now. That, and... Thank you very much. Thank you? for generously taking care of me and letting me stay at your place. Oh, that's what you meant. What did you think I meant? You don't have to worry about that. You're the one who might be taking care of me, you know. Hmm. What could he mean by that? Maybe you're right. I can help out with chores like cooking, cleaning, and doing the laundry. I don't think that's what he meant. That sounds promising. Yeah, play innocent. But that wasn't really what I meant. Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh? Sonosuke burst into laughter after I became confused. No, it's nothing. Shall we go home, Chizuru? He chuckled as he said it, and then he hugged my shoulders. Hey, it's too early for that. What? Um, well, why is he hugging me? Uh, he's a little too close. Is I mean, I'm following a guide here because, you know, I don't want to have to do all this again. He's a little too close for comfort. I chosen to stay at Sonosuke's place. I was the one who thought that it would be good to live there, but he was being way too familiar with me. Oh, come on. It's not like I had anything to base the decision on. I only, the only thing I got to see these guys was while they were putting out the fire, so how could I know if it was a good decision or not? I kept thinking these things as I gave him a cold stare. Come on, Chizuru. You don't have to glare at me like that. Sonosuke took his hands away immediately and smiled awkwardly. Really? Sorry. I guess I was playing around too much. I thought that he wasn't such a bad person if he could genuinely apologize, but I would be living with this guy from now on. Did I choose too hastily? By the way, did you choose to stay at my place? I thought he knew that already! Huh? Um, yeah, I did. I was a little embarrassed when he asked me a second time. Then again, it sounded like Sonosuke listened in on my conversation with Isami. He would have immediately known if I told a lie. Can I ask you why? He stared at me and got closer to my face as he asked kindly. You want to know why? I didn't think he would ask me that face to face, so I was a little flustered. Um, no reason really. I did eeny meeny miny mo. I had no reason really. I had just met him recently. I had no idea what kind of person he was. Exactly! The first name that came to my mind was his. No reason, huh? 
That's such a boring answer. Well, that's okay for now. It looks like you're more interested in me compared to the other guys. I didn't choose you after comparing you to someone. Even if you think that, you unconsciously chose me. Either way, I'll help you realize that fact, so don't worry. He's quite arrogant. More importantly, is it okay to loiter around here? Sonosuke was always joking around. I can't help it. I'm making his voice more flirty because he is more flirty than he is in Hakuogi. Uh, I didn't mean to change it, but it just happened. Nevertheless, I was worried seeing him like that. It looked like the other soldiers were still busy working. Oh, it's fine. Completely fine. If one person slacks off, it won't make much of a difference. That's why it's okay for you to leave your post? Yeah, yeah. Well... Voice Captain Hijikata. Sonosuke was startled by the voice behind him. He quickly turned around. It seems you aren't taking your position as Corps Captain very seriously, eh, Sonosuke? Toshizo laughed sarcastically, and Sonosuke's expression quickly changed. I mean, my job is to protect the people of Kyoto. I thought I should take her home since her house just burned down. I don't remember giving you that order. Captain Kondo told me to take care of her. But, I'm sure he didn't tell you to take her home. You are as stubborn as ever, Vice Captain Hijikata. I don't have enough time on my hands to let you take your sweet time with her. You don't mind, right? Toshizo looked at me and asked me my opinion. I'm not in a position to disagree with him. Uh... Oh no! Ah, uh, actually, oops, I was reading the guide wrong. Oh no, I gotta start over again. All right. I'm coming back to this in a minute. Okay, I was supposed to say, I'm so embarrassed. His arms are around my shoulders, and his face is really close. This is really embarrassing. What's wrong? Could it be you're nervous? I blushed after hearing him ask me that, and put my head down. Sonosuke started talking to me. So, that's how it is. You're not used to this kind of thing, huh? Sorry for surprising you like that. He spoke casually. He then took his hands off me and apologized. I didn't mean to scare you or anything. Do you believe me? Y yeah I'm so glad. I was startled by him at first, but he's really a nice guy after all. I'm glad I chose to stay with Sonosuke. I felt a little relieved. By the way... Yeah, okay, more stuff. Okay, so now I choose because I like you, which totally doesn't make any sense because I just met him! It's actually because I really like you, but... Oh, that's in parentheses, so I didn't say that out loud. There's no way I can say that straight to his face. What's wrong? Your face is glowing. Could it be that you can't tell me why you chose me? Sonosuke started to smirk while I stood there silent. It seemed he could read my mind. I got even more embarrassed. Um, well... I thought you looked kind. Oh, really? So, that must mean you like nice guys, don't you? What? I mean, you chose me because you wanted me to be nice to you, right? Th that's um... I couldn't answer and looked down at the ground. In the end, he determined the reason was because I liked him. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, Chizuru. Was he serious? Was he joking? Sonosuke ended the conversation like that. More importantly, is it okay to loiter around here? Okay, skip, skip, skip. Yeah, and I'm supposed to choose, I'll wait here. Okay, I'll wait here. That's her answer. It's so unfair forcing her to say that. Oh, I got it. I just need to go back to work. Sanosuke let out a sigh. He reluctantly followed Toshizo's orders. Okay, just wait here for me. I'll be done soon. I don't want to make you wait too long. Sonosuke gently smiled as he put his jacket over my shoulders. He gallantly went back to work. What are you doing just standing around? Can't you work a little faster? <laughs> now he's changing his tune. Sonosuke yelled at the troops, and they were frozen with fear. There seems to be a fight going on over there. You're just standing here watching. Get over there and do something to stop them. Those onlookers are in the way. Get them out of here. Bring the owner of the burned house here. I want to talk to him. Hey, you! Leave the cleanup for later. Taking care of living, breathing people is more important than that rubbish. 
Sonosuke's attitude completely changed. He was giving orders one after another in a rough tone. His face was stern, and one could feel his authoritative prowess. The soldiers worked harder in response to Sonosuke. Amazing. Sonosuke is surprisingly... Uh... Cool. How cool? He tried to go back to the base and make excuses. I thought he was just a carefree playboy, but... He's not like that at all. It was such a drastic change, I couldn't take my eyes off him. My heart started to throb thinking about his serious working side and his gallant manly style. He looked completely different from the Sonosuke that chuckled cracking jokes. He was very charming. Wait, this is no time to be thinking about this stuff. I pulled myself together and started to watch Sonosuke once again. As I watched them work, they reminded me of my father who was also a firefighter. This was my first time seeing firefighters work, as I wasn't allowed to watch my father work. I'm sure... He was a hard worker, just like the rest of these men. After being immersed in my thoughts, I suddenly realized my clothes were ruined. They were drenched with water, partly burned, and one part was dirty with mud. I see. That was why he gave me his jacket. His jacket was warm. My heart started to warm up too because of his thoughtfulness. Sorry for making you wait. By the time Sonosuke returned, it was completely dark out. Were you cold? Your clothes are all wet. I was worried you might catch a cold. Holding a lantern, Sonosuke spoke with worry in his voice. His voice was so sweet, you wouldn't have guessed he was yelling a few minutes ago. I'm okay. It's because you lent me your jacket. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Was it useful? But I'm sure you were lonely, right? You were by yourself in the dark. Uh, I was lonely. I was a little lonely. Just like I thought. Sorry, I should have stayed here with you after all. No, you should have listened to your boss like he did. No, it's okay. I'm the one who said it was okay. It's not your fault. I quickly tried to make an excuse because Sanosuke looked remorseful. And then again, having someone wait for me isn't so bad either. Oh, I might make this a habit. Sonosuke smiled playfully. But... I kept watching you. What? Sonosuke looked confused as he looked down at me. I was watching you work. I thought it was amazing. I was so impressed. I was imagining my father working, and I was happy he gave me his jacket. However, I was too embarrassed to mention those things. My work? That's what you were watching? The whole time you were standing here? I nodded, and Sonosuke burst into laughter. So, that's what kept your spirits high. You're a strange one. It looks like you're making me energetic now. Sonosuke chuckled. He then rubbed my head. Anyway, today is finally over. I'm sure you're tired. We should go to the base and you can finally get some rest. Even though Sonosuke was the one who was tired, he was looking out for me. He was a very nice person. Thank you. I didn't want to be taken care of. I wanted to do my best and help him out. I was really happy because... I cheered Sonosuke up just by being by his side. Ah, oh, that was a short chapter. Are they all going to be that short? It's even shorter than Destiny's Princess! Alright, well, chapter 2 will be continued in the next video. Oh yeah, he's very, very different from uh, the Sonosuke in Hakuoki. I like both versions. I like the one in Hakuoki better, but I'm liking him already so far. I like the fact that even though he's flirty, he still does his job well, you know? And his take charge and all. Alright, well anyway, I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.